Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at simplifying expressions, but more specifically collecting like terms. So we're just going to be adding and subtracting in this video. But first of all, what are like terms? Well, quite simply, they are terms that are the same. So for example, we are only going to be looking at the variables, and when I say variable I mean the letters. So I'm just looking at the letters here and I'm, I'm asking myself, are they exactly the same? Well, I've got an A here and an A here. So 3A and 4A, they are like terms. This one here, I've got a 6B and a minus B. I'm only going to focus on the letter or the variable, which is B and B. Don't care about the minus, don't care about the 6. The Bs are the same, so these are like terms. 4E and 7F, just going to look at the letters, E and F, nope, obviously different. Sometimes you can have terms that have more than one variable, more than one letter. So I've got AC and AD. Now, although the A's are the same, the C's and the D's aren't, and they must be exactly the same. AC and AC, that would work, or AD and AD, that would work, but they're slightly different, so these are not like terms. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. X and X squared. These are not like terms because... Although the letters are the same, the powers, the indices, also need to be the same. So x and x squared are different. They are not like terms. We cannot simplify them. However, this one here, 4x squared minus 6x squared. Again, I might ignore the 4 and I ignore the minus 6. Just look at the letters, x squared and x squared. So these ones are. So the powers and the letters or the variables are exactly the same. This one here. Initially, it looks like it is, but I've got an x and an x squared, so they're different, and a y squared and a y. So actually, they are subtly different, and therefore, they are not like terms. And finally, I've got an a squared, b cubed, c, so I need to compare everything, a squared and a squared, that's fine. b cubed, b cubed, that's fine, c and c. So they're exactly the same, so they are like terms. Why is that crucial? Well, you can only simplify or collect like terms. So for example, if we now look at these examples I've got here, a plus a plus a, they are all the same, in which case I can collect them, I can simplify them. I've got one there, another one there, another one there. So how many do I have? I have 3a. Same thing here, I've got a b and a b, the, they are the same, they are like terms, so I can collect them. 2b plus 5b, well that's 7b. This one here, C and C, so it's fine. 7C, take away 3C, 4C. And we get a bit more interesting here. So D and D, that's fine, I can simplify them, but I've got a bit of negatives, and people struggle with negatives, and they always say the best thing to do is to draw yourself a quick number line, which I'm just going to do over here. So 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and so on. And the first number, minus 4, is where I'm going to start. So I'm at minus 4, and I'm taking away 2, so I go down to 1, 2, so it'd be minus 6. So it's minus 6, and of course it's D. Now where it gets a little bit more interesting is when you have more than one variable, so more than one letter. But again, we can only collect the like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the first one, which is in 6A, so I'm looking at A's, and I've got another one here. Notice I'm circling the sign in front of it because it's 6A plus A, which gives me 7A. And I can look out, I've got a B here and a B here, so I can also simplify those ones there. So it's positive 2B, so plus 2B, and I need to take away 5. So 2, take away 5 is minus 3, and of course we're dealing with Bs. So you get the answer 7A minus 3B. This example here, again, I'm going to have a look what's the same. I've got an x here. I've got an x squared, but remember, they need to be exactly the same, so they are not like terms, so I can't do anything with them. However, I have an 8y and a minus 4y. So the y's are the same, so I can simplify them. So 8y minus 4y is 4y. And then because I can't do nothing with these, it's not a problem. I just leave them alone, and they stay the same. So I just write them out. This one here, let's have a look again. I've got my AB. That's an A squared B, so the A's are different, so nope, can't simplify them. This is an AB, ah, so I can simplify this one 
and this one because they're both ABs. 5AB minus 2AB gives me 3AB. And then I've got A squared B, A squared B, so I can simplify these ones, which is awesome. Okay, so 6A six A, six A squared B minus 6A squared B will actually cancel each other out. If you've got six of them, you take away six of them, there's nothing left, in which case I don't worry about putting plus zero, I just leave it blank. Example eight then. Again, I've got my AX minus 5x, so 8x take away 5x leaves me with 3x. And then I've got some numbers here, which is not a problem, we can just simplify them, so minus 5, and I just add 2, which gives me minus 3. And last one for this page, I've got my c, 3c minus 5c, so 3 take away 5 is minus 2c, and then I've got my d's, minus 4d, minus another d. So again, I'm going to come over to my um, number line here to help me. I start with my minus 4, and I just take away another one. I go down then if I take away, so I'm left with minus 5d. Okay, I've got just a few more examples for you to have a look at, so I'm just going to swap these over, and we're going to have a look at these ones which are just a little bit more tricky with negatives. Okay, so again, I'm looking for like terms. I have my x's. And again, they're negative. So again, I'm just going to draw a very quick number line just to help me check that I've got the right answer. And I highly recommend doing this in exams because lots of marks are missed. Very easy marks are missed because people don't check. Okay, so I've got minus x, which is equivalent to minus 1. So I'm at minus 1, I'm going to take away 3. 1, 2, 3, so I'm at minus 4x. Now let's have a look at the y's. So first one's minus 6, I'm starting at minus 6, and I take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm on minus 11y. And we're done. This one here, let's have a look. I've got a, b. That's a BC, so they're not the same, but I do have an AB there. So again, I can circle these because they're the same. I can simplify them. Minus 2AB, take away 5AB. So again, I'm going to my number line. Minus 2, take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 7AB. That's a BC, and that's just a number. Nothing similar there, no like terms. So I can't simplify them, so I just leave it. And last one, I just put a bit, put a bit of a beast in here just for a bit of fun. Uh, so I've got my a squared. Any other a squared? Yep, there's one there. So I've got my 8a squared minus 2a squared, which will give me 6a squared. Got an a cubed and a minus a cubed there. So a cubed, positive a cubed minus a cubed is nothing. They just cancel each other out. Got some ab's. Let's have a look. I've got one there, and I've got another one there. So 3AB plus 7AB is 10AB. And uh, or just a 4 on the end. So I can't do nothing with the 4. There's no other numbers, so I just leave that as plus 4. And that's collecting like terms. Now what they could do in exams is ask you something like this. Well, they give you a shape, and they say work out the perimeter. So hopefully you remember that perimeter is when you add all the sides up. Now the common mistake people make is they just add these two together and they think they're done. But be careful, the perimeter is the distance all the way, or the length, all the way around the shape. And because it's a rectangle, I know those two are the same, and I know the top and the bottom are the same. So I highly recommend you put them on, and then write the whole thing out. So I've got my x minus 1, plus this side, plus this side, plus this side. So once you've written it all out, we can now simplify it, we can collect our like terms. So one x, a 2x, another x, and a plus 2x. So how many x's do I have in total? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because they're all positive, I can just add them. And I've got my numbers, minus 1, plus 5, minus 1, plus 5, minus 1 plus 5 is 4, take away 1 is 3, add 5 is 8. 
and so the perimeter of this shape is 6x plus 8. Just an example where collecting like terms can be used in a slightly different context. Hopefully that helps guys. Thanks for watching.